Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 3rd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, large plasma filament eruption in the northern hemisphere, as well a couple active earth-facing sunspot regions, and as well a pretty sizable C-class solar flare heading out in the outgoing position. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, not much in the way of incoming except for the one sunspot on the right-hand side, but there is quite a bit of plasma filament activity coming in on the southern hemisphere of our sun. Looking at outgoing here, you can see those bright regions turning out and there is that one C-class solar flare from the right-hand side. And that was not in an Earth-facing position. Another closer look here at the Earth-facing sunspots. We will be keeping an eye on over the next 48 hours, as well just south of that pretty large plasma filament. See that dark, dark region as well. Some possible sunspot regions cresting in. Looking at multi-spectrum, the last 48 hours events, you can see in the top left-hand side there, plasma filament rip away. Not in an Earth-facing fashion, but we do have quite a large coronal hole that is Earth-facing. And you can see that right there as well, the large plasma filament above it. Looking at 193 angstroms here, that dark black region is the coronal hole, and it is now in an earth-facing position. Other than that, not too much to talk about. Our sun has been firing off B and C class solar flares, but again, a not in an earth-facing position. Looking at Lasco here, the last 24 hours of imagery. You can see that solar flare taken off from the right hand side, outgoing. Looking at solar x ray flux, remains in B range, but firing off a C class solar flare as of late. Just recently, there, geomagnetic activity remains low after being heightened over the past 48 hours. Highest frequency affected by the 1 dB absorption. Here's the map. Looks like the west coast gets zapped today. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 350 kilometers per second. Still down after being up over 500, 600 kilometers per second in the past week. ISWA space prediction spiral showing that solar flare taking off towards Mercury and Venus. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 24 and blackout. Telemetry showing a power of 24, which is an average power for today. Nothing major to report here with the Schumann resonance. Amplitude of 24, quality of 8, power of 12. Now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours. We're going to start out here with the most recent 4.7 in Adak, Alaska. At a 54 kilometer depth. As well, Kuril Islands 4.4, 183 kilometer depth and just south there 4.1. As well, a 4.9 here, Katsura, Japan, 18 kilometer depth. 4.6 there, Cabra, Philippines. 5.3 here in Mayodo, Myanmar, 10 kilometer depth, and that region has been pounded by rains. 4.8 and a 4.9 there, Indonesia. As well a 5.3 here reported in Kyrgyzstan, which does not happen often. Pretty rare earthquake area, but there's been an immense amount of pressure up in the Indian plate. 4.7 here to report Mozambique, Africa, South Africa, and as well a 4.6 here, Prince Edward Islands region, 
pretty far south of the African, South African coast. South America, pretty quiet today, considering 4.6 here, Calama, Chile, and as well a 4.2, Oval, Chile. 10 kilometer depth. So way too quiet, especially through central regions of Americas. Only reporting the two earthquakes there, Caribbean Plate. And then we get to the United States here, where we had a rare earthquake here. Williamsville, Missouri, 2.7, 2.5 there. Oklahoma as well. White City, New Mexico, showing a couple earthquakes. And then we get to Nevada here. Eureka, Nevada, with a 3.5 earthquake today. And seeing a small swarm occur there. As well, Smith's Ferry, Idaho, 3.1 earthquake at a 9-kilometer depth. And that's the United States. Not too much to talk about. No major swarms. Hawaii is seeing a couple minor earthquakes and zero earthquakes here. Fiji region. And that's a little bit strange. Let's have a quick browse at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. As it's been a pretty quiet week. Late week. But we've seen some pretty sizable earthquakes. Iran still shaking through there and now moving up into Kyrgyzstan, into the Indian Plate. And way too quiet through Central America's heads up. We could have something brewing. Now let's have a look at world weather here, brought to you by Windy.com. Giving you a small forecast here around the world, and we're going to start out in North America, where central regions and into Ontario, Canada... We do have some storms moving in for Tuesday. They could be intense as a, some really warm temperatures ahead of it. And then watch for daily evaporation rains through central regions. And then some Alberta clippers as well moving in late in the week, which will affect central regions, the United States, and up into the northeast. Overlooking South America over the next few days. Daily evaporation rains in the north. And then we've got a pretty hefty system affecting Chile and Argentina. They've got a lot of snow that's going to be falling here over the next few days. And then watch for this big system to come in. Now that's going to be a big player for Chile. And as well, watching some stormy conditions here develop through parts of Uruguay and Argentina border for next weekend. Other than that, no tropical storms to talk about through the Atlantic. Pretty quiet season so far. Overlooking Africa, no major changes coming to you. Daily evaporation rains. And then overlooking Southeast Asia, India, and Indonesia. Daily evaporation rains, strong system there in the Indian Ocean. And a daily pounding deluge of moisture heading into Myanmar. That's where we just had that 5.3 earthquake. So heads up Myanmar. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by possible flooding conditions, landslides, and extreme weather. No typhoons to talk about here in the long range or current. Do have some extreme weather heading to coastal regions of Australia this week. And as well through Sydney, watch for a wave of moisture to head through possible extreme weather. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. I want to thanks, thank you again for watching. Please hit that like. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.